What's up you guys? This is Steffi aka in my humble opinion and welcome back to another fan reaction Friday video Even though today isn't Friday normally for pose I am thinking I want to start uploading these videos on Thursdays at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time even though these past two videos now have been Saturdays at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, but let me know in the comment section below which day you prefer whichever one gets the most votes will be the day that I will do, okay? Okay. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be watching Pose Season 2, Episode 2, and the episode is entitled Worth It. Um, so let's get right into it because I'm very excited. Yay! Uh -huh. Come on now. Oh, pray tell's being nice to their house today. Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> A praise for one is a praise for all. That is so funny. A praise for one is a praise for all. I'm covering the late shift. Girl, it's midnight. Doesn't Indo seems close at 11. Yes, I need to know where Electra goes at night. Oh. Some sort of like underground, like a literal underground club. The Hellfire Club. Oh, God. Oh my god. Oh, is this like some BDSM, I guess? Okay, so that's how Electra makes her money. I appreciate my privileges, but that'll mean you gotta make things harder for yourself, man. Look at this girl. What? What's I actually like to block a shirt. I don't know if anything fits right or looks good until I get home, and by then it's too late. I never thought about that. Yeah, well, I gave up being fashionable a long time ago because of it. I need to walk in the room. I'm gonna show you how to do your makeup. We are growing. What? Oh, so oh, is Blanca getting a makeover shot. from Angel in this episode? And you're gonna get yourself that storefront. Mama's gotta pay the rent, girl. Oh, so like Blanca was serious about starting a business last episode. New York is changing, Brenda. Blanca. Yeah. <laughs> When you make a neighborhood safe and desirable, good people move in and make it too expensive for the troublemakers, so they move out. Property values go up. Everybody wins. Well, I like winning. Oh gosh. First and last month's rent plus a security deposit. Yes, Blanca. Don't we need a contract or something? Best if we just do it all over a handshake. We will save plenty in taxes and insurance. Oh gosh, I'm a little nervous that, that Blanca didn't scared. sign a contract, <laughs> but. Damn, Blanca, you know what? People like to be down on Blanca, saying, oh, she's too endearing and oh, why die happy-go-lucky? But that bitch makes things happen, so. <gasps> Ricky is back. Oh god. His legs were like open. Another death. I wonder if like every episode we're gonna see these characters going to a funeral to like highlight and emphasize the point that their community is dying. Oh my. Are you trying to wake the dead from their slumber? Angel has been helping me with my new looks. I honestly didn't think Blanca was like addressing Raggedy, so <laughs> I kind of feel bad. Why aren't you taking those meds? I'm afraid of the side effects. Oh no, girl, don't take them. Having what I learned from the comment section last week, don't take them. We'll be open for business by the end of the month. If it's because I'm fast. I just accept the terms, son. A handshake. You shook on it? What? How would I do wrong? Nothing. Congratulations, sweetheart. I'm okay, proud maybe they should have like you, used that moment as like a teachable lesson that we shouldn't now, just shake on things. Ballroom is about to be more popular than Studio Fifty Four ever was. Ballroom is not a trend. I know some of you guys in the comment section of the previous video were telling me about how there was a difference in how white people who were part of the LGBTQ community were treated in comparison to their POC peers. So oh, it's gonna be a harsh wake up call in reality for these characters to learn, I'm assuming this season, but necessary. A behind the scenes bitch is necessary to every house. And um, what exactly are your strengths? The fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> that was shade. Oh, oh. here. It's good for your metabolism. Damn, can go hungry in this house. You've made me realize something. Oh god. I'm gonna <laughs> She's gonna flip the table again. I am the one and only Electra. <gasps> oh, okay. What the fuck, bitch? What is this? <laughs> it's called my 
my new signature move. Oh. <laughs> I'll send it. Oh my god. Consider this affirmative action. I'm oh. Oh. Tess. Runway. Shadow. Silhouette. The legendary and iconic Madonna. See, this is why I freaking love posts. They have the best music. This is fun little sequence. I love that. We're here to get you ready for the ball, Cinderella. That was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> that was good. What on earth is going on? Oh gosh. This is Electra. It's hammer time, bitch. Oh! This is like the beat it music video, Lord. <laughs> We are the House of Wintour, named after the legendary editor-in-chief of the sacred text that is Vogue. Quake in fair children. <laughs> Wintour is coming. Oh. <laughs> so are they trying to say that Electra Loki came up with Game of Thrones' slogan? <laughs> like, what, 20, 30 years before? Uh, take us back. Gosh, rude. You're cuter than I imagined. Don't tell me you've seen me in your dreams. No. In photos. I was Ricky's bunkmate on tour. Oh. I fucked your man and everybody knows it. Is it what? true? Did you sleep with what? while you were on tour? Babe. No. What'd you think he was doing every time you called and couldn't reach him? Hmm? Playing cards. Can you shut your fucking mouth? I love how this fight is scored to ladies' room. <laughs> I also like how that guy was low-key playing mind games with Damon, like initially coming into the conversation as if he was interested in Damon, but oh, really? He was wanting to spread some tea or, I don't know, just get into his head. Why are you staying? So they don't learn to be just. Think you told me that oh, were they holding straight. hands? I don't even trust your ass anymore. And to think I let you talk me into not wearing a condom again. Excuse me? I thought we had a conversation. No, I thought we were being monogamous. Ooh. A lot of truth was spread. My angle was going to be that powerful women can have it all, even after a tough divorce. <laughs> I like I the like way that. she said that. Even after a tough Jonas, divorce. Jonas, where have you been? You know that storefront you rented out yesterday? I went oh, to no. check with the electrician. I ran into the new tenant. No, it's a guy, right? Oh my gosh, Jonas, fuck you. Yeah, you what are you talking about? Thank you very much, but my mother wants you out of here. I don't want to hear you. You're out. He said fuck he you, Jonas. No I'm just saying. They can't be evicting you like that. It's illegal. Well, they never signed a contract, though, though but... Right. What the hell do I have to do to get through to him? To make him see that he is way too valuable to be taking risks like that. I love these Gary parental Blanco conversations between Blanca and Pray Tell. Set an example. They need to see you out there right in their wrongs now, too. If you're not willing to go defend yourself against that landlady, how do you expect your children to ever fight for themselves? But is Blanca standing up to the landlord lady really going to make Damon and Ricky be convinced that, hmm, we should be using condoms? I mean, like, I get that the underlying moral of that is self-worth, but I'm not quite sure if that particular situation would translate to their situation, but we'll see. Properties reserves the right to evict tenants at any time. Wait, I'm sorry, was that written in my rental contract? The one you told me we didn't need? You know, I talked to those nice people at New York City Commission of Human Rights. They're in charge of making sure people like you don't discriminate against people of color when renting to us. And they set me up with a nice lawyer pro bono. And she said, without a contract, I've got squatters' rights. I've got an mm. entire law firm on retainer. I've got the best Jews from Harvard and Yale ready to squash you like a bug. Oh my god. Blanca, this is gonna be really expensive to go to court. I mean, like, then again, you have a pro bono lawyer, but still, this is a lot. Uh oh, this is what's gonna happen. Remind me to skip the salad for dinner tomorrow. Oh. You think you're so special, this thing is just gonna skip on over you, but you're not. Mmm, Angel, speaking up. I thought the only way to find love was with my body. So I would go Ooh, out to a club, flashback, and even in those moments when his arms were around me, I believed he loved <laughs> okay, me. Okay, Blanca, I like this haircut on you, girl. I wanted to please them. I wanted to make them feel so good. So I didn't use any condom. Mm. And now 
Told them Blanca. And now I got AIDS. I didn't mean to hide it from y'all. I just wanted to protect y'all. And me telling the truth is the only way I could do that. There you go, girl. Oh, puppy. You were one brave woman, you know that? You looked after me. No one else would. And I promise I'm gonna look after you. All of us. Oh my gosh, Poppy. Mm -hmm. Not gonna let a single bad thing happen Bitch. to you. I still call medicine for you. <laughs> I love you, Mom. Oh wow, I would have never thought Poppy would be the person to get me to elicit some real tears here. Just, you, you torn the world, you, you in videos, you got all this attention, what am I doing? School, the balls, that's something. Oh no, David's gonna break up with him. I really don't have a good feeling about myself right now. I have to go, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna be late for rehearsal, but I promise we're gonna finish this later, okay? Dang, that's hard. That's insecurity. That's real. It's tough to be happy for your partner when you don't know what the fuck is happening in your life. Like, that could even apply to any kind of relationship. When you see other people are going places and moving forward with their lives and you're feeling lost and you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you're just like, that's, that's real. Oh, okay, okay. This is good, pray tell. <laughs> I love the subtitle, Pray Tell Vocalizing. <laughs> See, this is what Evangelista should have done. They should have, like, had more choreography. Oh! That was deserving of a 10. Yes, 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 Mother Blanca, listen here, listen here. There is an award that I know that you can snatch with ease. And that's Businesswoman of the Year! Oh, Businesswoman of the Year. <laughs> you may not have taken a trophy home this evening, but Mother Blanca, you are a shining example of excellence. And you are always a champion. That was nice of Pray Tell to do. I'm sure if um, House of Ferocity, if one of the girls were to have been in that position, he still would have never done that. <laughs> What's going on? Oh god, he's gonna break up with him. He's gonna break up with him. Somewhere along the way, I've stopped loving myself and I need to try to figure out how to love him again. What are you saying? We need to take a break. A Ooh. break. So, Damn, poor Ricky. He like just got back break. from tour. Pray for us. Damon, please, if, if, if you, I don't want to advise them, you can go to Blanca, I can't help you. I wish this story was a little bit more developed, you know, I feel like it got there really quick. I think I want to start taking them. Oh no. Not, they're going to save your life. Uh, oh no. It's like sad too, because like the doctor genuinely- <gasps> Is this some Anita Baker that I hear? Yes! There's something I can't do. Yes! In exchange for everything you gave to me. Woo! Oh, Anita Baker. I am like so distracted right now. Oh, do you hear that emotion? The Naomi. Oh. It's all about the body. <laughs> I kind of want Angel and Poppy to get together. And they have Anita Baker scoring their scene right now. Oh, he's moving out? Oh my gosh, Ricky's moving out. Where's he gonna go? And this is one on This is a very like appropriate song though. All the characters are just trying to be their best selves. They're trying to give the best that they have. In alphabetical order, Chanel, Dio, Fendi. Get it right. No thanks, I'm not hungry. And I need to be in fighting shape anyway. Every day they have more and more auditions for focus. They're focused, I like that. I like that too. And I feel right that Ricky not here. I respect that you chose yourself, but we love them too. Mm. And see how much y'all love him? When y'all here, he'll win to or not. What? What time oh, is that? I thought so. We won against Electra. I went toe to toe with Frederica and got my own salon open and shit, I'm fighting against AIDS. 
Yes, mother. Thank you. Listen, we can do anything as long as we got each other. Well, that deserves a goddamn toast. <laughs> and let's also toast to Anita Baker. Thank you. Blood does not family make... Wait, what? Blood does not family make those are relatives family okay i think they had like a typo there but blood does not make family those are relatives Ooh. <laughs> that's a word family are those with whom you share your good bad and ugly and still love one another in the end those are the ones you select hector extravaganza damn that's real my mother right, right now would be like amen to that <laughs> All right, so some post-show thoughts. So thinking about the episode title, this episode was called Worth It. Specifically with Blanca and Damon, we saw these two characters in their own ways, finding their own self-worth again. And I guess you can even say with Electra, she was finding her own self-worth again as well. Blanca obviously deciding to open up her nail salon, even though while I was watching the episode, I was like, I don't know how strong Blanca's claim is in terms of this nail salon being hers, with all of those technicalities being put aside. I like the morale behind why she is choosing to fight for that salon and making sure the salon opens. It's because she's trying to prove her worth. Then you also have Damon, who is trying to prove his own self-worth to himself, I guess, because he feels like he's lost himself to his relationship. The only thing I have about that particular storyline in this episode is I just wish that maybe they would have spent more time on it because I think the emotional place of someone feeling a bit insecure with where they are in comparison to, in this case, their partner, because their partner is like, you know, being successful in their own professional career, whereas they're still trying to figure things out. Like, I think that's a very real emotional place. And I think that's a very relatable thing for a lot of people, but I wish they would have explored that a little bit more because I feel like there were some story beats that were missing to get us to the point where Damon is like, I need to, take a pause from Ricky. Especially considering in the previous episode too when Damon just seemed so excited for Ricky to come back. And then you have Electra who has opened her own house. The only thing I feel like I'm complaining, but the nitpicky thing that I have about Electra's storyline as well is it wasn't until like the end of last season when they actually started to develop more of like an emotional aspect to Electra as a character versus just like bringing her in for a couple like one-liners and zingers. And then of course having that character just deliver these amazing sequences in the ballroom. My only thing is I hope that they're still able to find some like emotional exploration with that character because since you know, now Electra has left Blanca's house and she's left House of Ferocity. I just don't want that character to feel like repetitive, if that makes sense. But I do think it's interesting now too that Ricky is at House of Winter. And I also think it's kind of funny too that they're using a curb pop culture reference of Winter is Coming in like a show that is now taking place in 1990. Uh, but go off Pose. I love the music that Pose uses and I felt like by them choosing Anita Baker's giving you the best that I got during that wonderful montage sequence of all of these different characters finding their own individual paths and their own individual ways of just giving it their best shot, trying to be the best version of themselves given their current situation. I thought it was really, really great. And that just like, again, ties into the overall theme of the episode as well about the importance of self-worth. And I loved that scene where there was that conversation between Praytel and Blanca talking about how for specifically black, gay, trans, poor, disenfranchised people like these characters, they're the ones who are taught to not have any self-worth. So, you know, again, the episode ended on a feel-good moment, feel-good high. I personally always love watching Pose and covering Pose because right now I'm also covering The Handmaid's Tale on my channel and that show is just like, ooh, doom and gloom all the time. So it's very refreshing to watch a show like Pose. It's just Alright, and my question for you guys is... I don't really know how well you could answer this question based on what we saw in the episode, but I want to personally know if you think Ricky cheated on Damon. Mm. 
for me, I would say I don't think he did. I don't think Ricky cheated because he got really emotional when Damon was breaking up with him. But then again, maybe he got emotional because he would he didn't think that Damon was going to break up with him regardless if he cheated or not. So yeah, I just, I'd be interested to know if you guys personally think Ricky cheated on Damon. Just let me know. I think it's an interesting question. All right, well, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on a notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out and comment down below your thoughts on this episode. I also want to give a special shout out to Gilbert Lays. I mean, I know all of you in the comments section whenever I just don't know anything, you guys are very informative and very like polite in informing me about whatever I don't know. But Gilbert R. Blaze, you guys, he is like our resident expert for here. He was so informative in the comments section in last week's video. So I just wanted to give a special shout out to Gilbert Blaze. He knows his stuff. Thank you so much, Gilbert, for leaving all the facts, all the receipts in the comments section because we need it. We need the education. So thank you, Gilbert. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, like I said in the beginning, let me know if you guys want these videos on Thursdays at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or Saturdays, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Again, whichever days gets the most vote is the day where we're gonna stick with. And when I decide on that date, I will tweet it out and also post it on the community tab to give you guys heads up as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as always, everything I said was just my own personal thoughts and all my humble opinion. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.